Hey guys, we've got Lisa from Gaberhood here, and we're in my happy place. It's a craft store. We're gonna make flower crowns. <gasps> Follow me. First, we need our foundation for the flower crown. I prefer a nice solid headband. Now you might be tempted to go cheap and get something narrow like this. No, size matters, especially girth. Because we're going with this autumnal theme, I've got these, these um, purple flowers because I'm not hardcore enough to just go full on black. Well, that's kind of sad looking. You know what, you don't have to go for the first one you grab. You don't, you can go for a good one. That's a metaphor for life as well. Let's away. Okay, so now that you've gathered all your supplies, we're going to begin the actual tutorial. First thing you're gonna wanna do is select the color palette that you're going for. I'm lucky enough that I apparently am always drawn to the same colors of flowers, much like I am drawn to the same types of men. So normally when you get these beautiful flowers, silk flowers, they call them, these are, this is not silk. If you use these flowers for anything other than flower crowns, comment below, what are you putting these in vases? What's happening? So, a lot of these, you're gonna be able to tell that you can just pop them right off, look at that, drag queen noise, and then you can pop them back on if you wanna do any of the other things that you do with these bushels of flowers, which again, comment below. Now we're going to place the things on our headband, because how we're going to anticipate it is that the headband's gonna sit like this, like a regular headband, and the flowers, just one, is gonna sit like this. We also are doing something kind of neat today and including a tchotchke. Because this is autumnal, we're gonna add a, a scuffle to it. We're gonna paint this guy and spread it around. Because you know what? You're a gal. And you know what gals are? Gals are busy. This was me and my grandmother's favorite thing to do on a Friday night. So we're gonna let this guy, this guy dry. I'm gonna go wash my hands and this brush. And we're back. And I found a glass of wine. So now we're letting Mr. Tchotchke dry. And we're gonna start placing these flowers. Now I'm gonna start applying my first flower. And this is the part where you know, you just accept in your heart, you're gonna burn the F out of yourself. You're gonna be tempted to slap it on and be like, this is my truth, I'm done now. Hold it on there, just trust me. I like to think about all the embarrassing things I've done in my entire life. While I wait for this glue to cool. And I didn't burn myself, physically. The other thing we're gonna do is cover up these stems. So if you're doing this and you're like, oh my God, Lacey, this is the most hideous thing. I would say you're absolutely right. And we're gonna fix it. Plot more hot glue over the top of it. Make like a seal these spider webs of terror that burn you, just watch those. Hold it in place, wait for the glue to dry, think of everything dumb you've ever done. <laughs> How many hands do I need to do this? I wanna whine, I wanna whine. But as you can see, we're chugging along. Okay, so now we're gonna fill out the, the bottom ends. You just cut them off, the rest of the stem. Live your truth. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the finished work of Mr. Chachki. This is, grandma would be into this blingin' Mr. Chachki. So we're just gonna stick this bullshit on here. I mean, that is massive. Let's, let's think on this. Let's think on the best place to put. Does he live here? Guys, it's really big. I feel like this looks like if a girl went to Coachella but it was like on Dead Man's Cove. Let's move along. So we're gonna add some filler flowers to the bottom. Now we've got all our flowers in place keys. We're gonna take leaves from previously used flowers or flowers that we used this round. We're gonna use them to cover up the stems here. Yeah, and then the bottom, I'm just gonna do the same. If I can find a person that makes me feel the way wearing a flower crown does, Look out! This is the most ridiculous thing on the planet. And 
and I love it. Where should the skull go? You have value. I had plans for you. This part, this part is done. This is a done flower crown. This might not be destined to be on this crown. We might need to say goodbye to it. But this is a flower crown. This is, this is it. This is her. This is how she lives. You can wear this to Costco, Coachella, Kmart, Kim Kardashian's quinceanera. And remember, even if there's not a place for you on the flower crown, there's still a place for you in the universe. It's inspirational. Crafting with anxiety and Lisi.